Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by today. I was out on Amazon looking at little portable washing machines for out here in the RV and I came across these new collapsible or, or folding washing little washing machines. So I thought I'd get one and try it out. Yeah, I know they're small, but the portability wise, being able to collapse maybe a small load that you want to do in an evening. I mean, I thought this thing would be really nice. So I went ahead and picked one off off Amazon and thought I would do a review. So let's see what's inside. Well packaged, comes with an AC adapter. Let's see if I can pop it out of the styrofoam here. Styrofoam aside. Let's bring over the unit. Oh, the times we're doing things one handed. <laughs> All right, a little static today. Okay, here we go. So you can see how big it is. About uh, four inches there. There's my hand. <laughs> About ten inches or so. Taped. Let's take off the tape here. Such tape aside. All right, let's see what we have. Take the lid off. Nice little cover. And let's see what we need to do here. Okay, definitely was a two-hand process. Expand it out. This rubber wall is very thick. And, uh, I think over time it would definitely become easier, but it's a little bit stiff. So this is the East Doll brand power button. And there's a look inside. You can see the, let's go over this way. You can see the agitator. And there is a max fill line. Let's see if they have that on both sides. No, they do not. So it seems pretty easy to me. There is a drain valve here, a little drain cover. So we'll close that up. And the AC port right here. Okay, well, I think it's time to do some laundry. There are plenty of uh, small dish towels out here and some washcloths we can wash. So let's go ahead and we'll start a load. Let's get set up in the in the bathroom. Let's do a load of laundry. All right, sounds good. Let's go set up. All right, we are getting all set up here for this test on this collapsible washing machine I've got some uh, I got some dish towels washcloths you know things were still hanging in the camper from the fall and I thought I would take it a step further and let's run this in a boondocking or off-grid scenario I brought out my engine star power pack uh, that's uh, 350 watts 400 watts I believe plenty of power for a little DC motor and uh, let's go ahead and Start running this test. Let me fill this with water. Be right back. Okay, so I've got some water in there. And we're about an inch below the max line. Because I figured by the time we add the clothes in there and some detergent, we're going to be up at that line anyway. So let me get a little bit of detergent. We're not going to need much. We're just going to use some good old Tide. So a little bit of detergent in there. 
Yep, that's plenty. Okay, a little detergent. Let's put our wash in. There we go. Now let's see where the water level is. Oh, see, not too bad. We still could go up a little bit. So let me put some more water in there. Yeah, that's good right there. Okay. Turn off our water. We're right at the line. Okay, here goes nothing. Ready for power. Let's come over to the engine star. Turn it on. Give myself AC. Alright, there's some AC power. Let's click the button. See what happens. All right, we are washing away. See how it does if we take out that big, the big one. I bet you it agitates a lot better without that one. That was a pretty big one. All right, let's let it run. Ten minutes. All right, it's still going to town here. Water's getting pretty dirty, as I would expect. Check back in a couple minutes. So one thing to note is it is drawing about 24 watts at peak while it's running the agitator. Now yeah, there got up to 27. So really uses very little power. All right, check back in a couple minutes. Okay, so it just turned off. It did it like three beeps. So it must run like, boy, I want to say maybe six or seven minutes. 
I don't think it was 10 minutes, probably six or seven, and beeps and turns off. So end of cycle. Well, how did we do? Let's see. I've got a whole handful of clothes here. <laughs> Wash, wash rags. I got one little hand towel. So, kind of a small load. Let's put these aside. I'm just going to drain these real quick. Let's dump. Oh, yeah, there is a drain valve, but you know, I'm not, not going to bother with the drain valve. Water is pretty dirty. <laughs> well, not as, I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little more dirty, but they were washcloths, so those are all going to be decently clean. And all it was was a hand towel. Okay, let's fill it up. Let's do a rinse cycle. Let's do this again. Let me just unplug it here. There we go. So we'll fill it back up. Maybe I'll do a little rinsey rinse. So I'm going to fill it up to max. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't just go to max. It didn't overflow or anything. So we're going to fill it up. I am using cold water. So we are just at the max line. Let's plug everything back in here. Remember this is just DC. This is not AC. So very low voltage. We only use 24, 24 watts max. Okay, so everything's in there. I'm going to do a rinse cycle. Let's uh, hit the button again. There it goes. Okay, let's let it go. We're going to do a rinse. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Oh, well, hold on a minute. Check this out, everybody. Check this out. Hold the presses. Hold the presses, guys. Hold the presses. There's LEDs in there. That's cool. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, let's do our rinse. <laughs> I, said, I was like, what is in there? So there's some pretty cool blue LEDs. All right, let's, let's finish our rinse. Okay, our rinse cycle has completed. I'm going to take everything out here, set it aside, and then we will just hang this stuff up. It is all clean. This was the, the big hand towel we had in there. That'll work. A couple other washcloths from the shower. There we go. All right, let's dump it out. There we are. All right, I'm going to clean this up. Do a little rinse and we'll talk about it. This is not too bad. <laughs> All right, let me get this quick, quick rinse. Just gonna get all that soap out of there. Rinse out everything in here. There we go, ready for next use. Put that little cap on there. All right, let's move to the kitchen table.
there you have it using the East Doll little portable washing machine let's see if we can get some stats on here a little bit of low light in here today foldable washing machine there's the model East Doll rated for 10 watts uh, output 12 volt rated wash volume is 0.16 cubic feet so there you go all right so what do we think I'll tell you what it did a great job washing I think it did as I think it worked as expected the agitator worked fine it definitely tumbled the wash if you had a couple of small items where you didn't want to go to a full-size washing machine this is a great option uh, did a great job I like the fact that it collapses I mean it collapses down into nothing you can easily stow it away I mean it's a nice little unit like I said, if you're just going to do a small load, some, uh, you know, some whites maybe, uh, like we did a small hand towel, socks, uh, kids clothes, no issue using this unit. So if you'd like to see, uh, to see this, I'll put a link down below. Any questions, let me know. But... All in all, I'm very impressed with it. It's definitely gonna gonna be stowed here for future use this summer. All right, everyone, thanks for stopping by on this review of the foldable washing machine, and we will see you on the next one.